Hi, Mark here. I found a piece of software that I like a lot because it really gives me a lot more control over audio when I'm streaming. But the software is a little confusing at first, so I decided to make a video describing how I use it. The software is called Voice Meter Banana, and the interface is pretty overwhelming, especially if you've never run an audio mixing board. This is what it looks like. But first, let me describe the problem that I was having that I wanted to solve, and I can do that with some pictures. On my stream, I basically have two things that make sound for my stream. My microphone, and then pretty much everything else. In OBS, I can control the volume of the mic, and I can control the volume of everything else. But that's it. It's easy for me to have the stream hear everything I hear, but it's hard to have some things that I want to hear, but that the stream doesn't need to hear. For example, I play poker online. I don't want the stream to hear the sounds from my poker tables because it's confusing. I'm not always focusing the stream on the table that's making the noise. So when the table that is focusing on starts making noise to the stream, it gets confusing. It doesn't seem right. So to make it less confusing for my viewers, I turn the sounds of my poker tables completely off. But personally, I like hearing the sounds myself because it helps me be warned before something bad happens, like I'm about to time out of a hand. What I'd rather have is the ability to isolate all of the things that make sound from the things that use sound and then remap them as I need them. And that's exactly what Voice Meter Banana does. So here on the left, I have all the things that make sounds. The microphone, a few programs, and windows. Those are called inputs. On the right, I have all the things that use sound. Speakers, headphones, and OBS. Those are called outputs. Now here's Voice Meter Banana. It allows me to connect up to five inputs and five outputs. In my case, I have five I have five inputs and four outputs. You'll see what, why I have two outputs connected to OBS in a little bit. On each input and output, Voice Meter Banana gives me the ability to control the volume. There are a total of five input volume controls and five output volume controls. Now here's where it starts to get cool. Within the application, you can decide which of the inputs are going to go to which of the outputs. So for example, I want to send my microphone to OBS. and I can make a link between the two. When I do this, the microphone input will be connected to the OBS output. Now let's think about Spotify. I want Spotify to go to multiple outputs. I want it to be played out my speakers, in my headphones, and to the stream. But I want Spotify to have a different volume level to my speakers and headphones than the level that gets sent to the stream. So remembering that I have a volume slider per output I gave Spotify its own output in OBS, and then I turned the volume down on that output in Voice Meter Banana. Now the web browser is something that I use a lot when streaming. I have my Twitch dashboard running in it, and occasionally I want to see whether, what the volume levels sound like on stream to see if I need to make any adjustments, like maybe the music is too loud, or my voice is too quiet, something like that. But I don't want the stream to hear me doing my sound checks. So I connect my web browser sound only to my speakers and headphones. VLC stands for Video LAN Client. It's a piece of software that plays media files. I use it for playing small sound clips throughout the stream. So I want it to go to my speakers, my headphones, and to the louder OBS output because I want the sound clips to be louder than the Spotify music. Finally, all the rest of my sounds my computer makes, including my poker tables, get connected to my speakers and headphones, but not to OBS, so that I can hear those sounds, but my stream can't. Now, before I walk you through how this looks in the application, remember, there are five inputs and five outputs, each with their own volume control, and then connections from inputs to outputs. So here's the interface. This section over here is the input section. Each one of these columns is an, it represents an individual input. There's five of them. One, two, 
three, four, five. This section over here represents the output section. Each one of these small columns represents an output. There's five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Now there is a volume slider on each of the inputs right here and a volume slider on each of the outputs. These are the one, two, three, four, five input volume sliders and the one, two, three, four, five output volume sliders. The first thing I have to do is connect my actual inputs to an individual input column. For the first one, it's easy. It's my microphone. So I just click up here and I select the device that is my microphone. And then I can label this mic so that I don't forget what it is. Now the next two inputs require a little bit more explanation so I'm going to skip them for now and go on to the last two inputs. The first three inputs over here are hardware inputs, meaning they connect to actual pieces of hardware like my microphone. But these last two are called virtual inputs. They connect to software. The first virtual input is Windows Audio. This is hard coded and cannot be changed. The second virtual input is called Voice Meter Aux. And the way I connect software to it requires that the software be able to choose which audio device it's going to use. Fortunately, VLC can do that. Here's VLC. And what I do is I go into the preferences, into the audio output, and I set the output device to be voice meter aux in. Now VLC is oops. Now VLC is connected to this input column within um, voice meter banana. And so I can label this as VLC again so that I don't forget it. So that I don't forget what this input is. Now let's go back to the other two hardware inputs. There are two things that are wrong here. First, I want to connect programs to these input, not hardware. And second, both of these programs that I've chosen, Spotify and Chrome, do not allow me to change where their audio output goes like I did in VLC. To solve the first problem, the people who made Voice Meter Banana have a product called Virtual Cable. What I can do is connect a program to one end of the virtual cable by redirecting its sound to the virtual cable. Then, in Voice Meter, Banana connecting the other end of the virtual cable as an input. I know that sounds confusing, but basically what you do is you just install the software, download the software, install it and reboot, and this thing starts showing up. To solve the second problem, I use a piece of software called Audio Router. Here's what Audio Router looks like. This lets me force programs to use a specific audio device. In my case, I am currently forcing Spotify to use cable B input. And so I do that by clicking on the route button, coming over here and selecting cable B input. And I use force Chrome to route to cable A input. And then within voice meter banana, I come and I select cable A input for one input and cable B input for the other input. And then I remember that I set Spotify up. Let's go back and look. I set Spotify on cable B and Chrome on cable A. So I come over here and I say this is Spotify and this is Chrome. And now I have all of my inputs attached to voice meter. Let's go back and look at my picture. I have all of my inputs attached. I have my microphone, Spotify, Chrome, VLC, and Windows Audio. Next, I need to attach my outputs. And just like the inputs, the first three outputs 
are hardware outputs. These three here are hardware outputs. And the last two outputs are virtual outputs. So if we go back to the diagram, what I want is I want my speakers to be my first hardware output and my headphones as my second hardware output. I connect them here. This is A1. I connect my speakers here. And this is the device that is my headphone jack. And that's connected to A2. Finally, to connect OBS to the virtual outputs, I need to go into the OBS audio settings. I disable everything except for mic 1 and mic 2. Mic 1, I connect voice meter output, and mic 2, I connect voice meter aux output. And that represents these two outputs. This is voice meter output right here, and this is voice meter aux output. And then I can label these. I label this one OBS mic, and this one, oops, this one OBS mic 2. And so now I have my speakers, my headphones, and my two OBS outputs connected, and all my outputs are connected. Now let's go back to the drawing. This is where we're at. We have all the inputs connected and all the outputs connected. Now to hook them up, I go to the first hardware input and look at what I want to connect it to. In my case, I want to connect my microphone to my OBS, my first hardware, H1, to B1. Well, how do I do that? I come over here, and this is my H1. This is the first one. And I have it already connected to B1. And I had to do that because otherwise you wouldn't hear me. So let me turn this off and just say, la. I'm going to make one long tone. La, la. See, when I turned it off, it wasn't connected. So I had to pre-connect this one. So moving on. Spotify is H2. It's going to connect to A1, A2, and B2. So back here, to connect Spotify, this is Spotify, I'm going to connect to A1, A2, and B2. Going on to... Oh, and also I need to remember, over here, since this is B2, you can see B2 labeled here, I wanted to turn the volume down a little bit. So I'm going to bring the volume down on B2. Next, my br web browser is going to connect to A1 and A2. And here's my web browser. I'm going to connect it to A1 and A2. VLC is going to go to A1, A2, and B1. Here's VLC, A1, A2, and B1. And finally, Windows is going to go to A1 and A2. A1 and A2. And that's basically it. I've configured this drawing in this, t in this tool here. Now let's test it out a little bit. I'm going to play some music on Spotify. Let's see what... The first thing to notice is that you can see the music going to three outputs. A1 Here's Spotify. It's going to A1, A2, and B2. So you should see the meters bouncing up on A1, A2, and B2. And that's what we see. Now we also see a little bit of um, background noise in from my mic. But that's just background noise, and we can prove that by music. Now, I can also mute my speakers. Right now, my speakers are playing, and I can mute them. And now, the only thing that I'm hearing is in my headphones. 
and I have independent volume control of my headphones. Now I'm moving this up and down and I can hear the volume going up and down. You can't because I'm not doing because you are over here in this guy. Now if I move this volume up and down you hear the volume going up and down but I don't. Similarly for the same reason because I wasn't connected to this one and when I was making the volume going up and down here you weren't connected to it so you didn't hear it but that is basically it that is basically how it works this is a very simple overview of bo voice meter banana um, it's there's more to it like this section these sections over here this stuff over here I really don't know what they do I know that there's some equalization that you can do over here and here like I have no idea what I would do with any of this stuff over here but this is what I use it for and it is really potent it's really helpful um, so I'm hoping that you liked it if you did like this video please click thumbs up below if you didn't like it give me a big thumbs down and please let me know what you didn't like in the comments also please subscribe to my channel below and if you're interested in watching uh, me play poker online please head over to my twitch stream and give me a follow Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.